hi hello my dear swift learners how are you all i hope that you all are fine safe and sound at your homes and i radhika am back with a new session and before telling you what is our new session all about today we are going to have a quick tour around swift learn to see what is swift learn all about all right so swift learn it is india's most sincere learning destination wherein we provide the classes for grade 1 to grade 10 how is it sincere because over here we have some of the special features like we have 100% live interactive classes then we have personalized attention batch in which you know maximum 6 students are there so that teacher can pay attention to every individual then we have academic mentor team apart from teachers which will be tracking your progress and which will be guiding you through the same and we also cover your syllabus as per your school exam schedule so that you can perform amazingly well there also Wait, wait, wait! There are some of the key features also which make Swift Learn all the more special, like detailed progress report. Then we have Swift Learn Academic Test Series in which you can compete with students of your grade. You can also take unlimited practice tests which are available on the Swift Learn portal. Plus, you can also take subjective tests. So all these things you are getting, and you can you know yourself experience it by booking your very free trial class on Swift Learn. All you need to do is just go to Play Store, download Swift Learn app, and book your free trial class. All right? Please subscribe to the channel of Swift Learn and press the bell icon so that you do not miss on any amazing class. And press like button if you like this video. Okay? So today we are going to do classification of plants, <coughs> in which we are going to have a quick introduction on plants. then we are going to see what is the need of classification what is importance of classification and we are going to focus on kingdom fungi all right so if i talk about our surroundings you know there are many trees there are many plants in our surroundings okay so if i talk about plant what is the first thing that comes into our mind the type of plant we have grasses we have trees we have shrubs creepers climbers herbs bushes vines etc right so these are some of the different type of plants okay so there are variety of plants that we have in our surroundings okay so they are classified as shrubs herbs trees etc now what are plants plants are autotrophs so here auto means self okay so why are plants known as autotrophs because they prepare their own food using various things like sunlight like carbon dioxide water and various type of minerals plus their uh, you know leaf also contain chlorophyll okay so these are the things that plants use to create their to uh, prepare their own food and that is why they are known as autotrophs okay so the process that uh, plants follow is obviously photosynthesis so it is you know preparing the uh, food of the plant in presence of sunlight carbon dioxide mineral and water now if i talk about their appearance so the plants can be classified into basically herbs shrubs trees vines creepers climbers etc right so these are the type of plant classification on the basis of their looking or on the basis of their appearance now this is a small classification but if you want to classify into some broader category okay so what what can we do but before that why do we need this broader classification that is very important to understand okay so this broader categorization it is important because it will allow us to differentiate between different species okay and also it is helpful for us so that we can you know distinguish between edible plants and poisonous plants okay so there are many plants which are very harmful so we should be knowing about them now you know in the earlier times various scientists they work upon they worked on these and they classified the living organisms in different categories okay so some biologists classified organisms into two simple categories that is plants and animals but no many biologists they were not like completely satisfied by that so biologists such as ernest haeckel robert whitaker carl woese they were these some of the biologists which attempted a broader classification they needed a broad system of classification right now among these robert whitaker he proposed one classification that is known as five kingdom classification it was widely accepted and it is used till today okay 
so whitaker he uh, you know proposed that all the organisms they can be broadly classified into various kingdoms uh, on the basis of their certain characteristics like the structure of their cell their type of nutrition their source of nutrition their interrelationship how is their body organized how do they reproduce all these things we can take into account and we can classify them into certain kingdoms so we classify the uh, organisms into five kingdom what are they kingdom monera kingdom protista kingdom fungi kingdom animalia and kingdom plantae so these are the five main kingdoms and today we are going to study about kingdom fungi okay so fungi i hope every one of you at least once you might have seen it on maybe you know the stale bread mold okay so on, on the bread loaf there are some fungi which grows if we keep it in open for 3 to 4 days okay so what is fungi it is an eukaryotic organism that includes microorganisms such as yeast molds and mushrooms so eukaryotic means their nucleus have a membrane okay so these are the eukaryotic organisms and fungi they um, have cell wall and they are omnipresent that means we can easily very easily find them okay they are classified as heterotrophs among the living organisms now if i talk about animals fungi bacteria we all are heterotrophs because we do not prepare our own food but we are dependent on plants for our nutrition okay so some of the common example of fungi are yeast we have mushroom we have molds we have truffles so these are common examples which come under the category of fungi now talking about the characteristics of fungi so first of all fungi they are eukaryotic they are non vascular non motile and heterotrophic organisms okay so they depend on other plants they sometimes can be unicellular also and sometimes it can be filamentous okay and they reproduce by the mean of spores we will be seeing what is meant by spores then they store their food in the form of starch in themselves okay and the cell wall of fungi so uh, fungi they have you know this is a cell and then they will be having a cell wall like this okay which is made up of chitin and polysaccharides so their cell wall it is made up of chitin and polysaccharides okay and talking about the nucleus of fungi it is very small okay now talking about fungi's mode of nutrition so they lack chlorophyll and they do not prepare their own food so they are known as heterotrophic that is they are dependent on other organisms for their food uh, needs okay so they obtain their food from dead and decaying matter from living organisms next characteristics they have no embryonic stage means they directly you know develop from the spores if i talk about plants they grow from embryo but in fungi this is not the case then their mode of reproduction it can be sexual also and they can reproduce asexually also and some fungi they are parasitic and they can infect the host now talking about the uses of fungi so fungi is one of the most important use you might be thinking okay what is the use of fungi because it you know steals the food but though fungi has some of the important role also it plays a very vital role in our biosphere and it has got lot of economic importance okay so it has harmful effects also but it has beneficial effects also so fungi it is used as recycling it is used in food bio control agent and food spoilage so that is a harmful effect we guess so first of all recycling so what do the fungi do they uh, you know recycle the dead and decaying matter in the environment so that is how they play a very very important role next talking about food so we all know that mushroom are the edible species okay so they are especially cultured and they are used as food because they are very rich in vitamin and protein so here fungi are used as food talking about antibiotics so uh, there is a uh, antibiotic known as penicillin okay so that is actually derived from a uh, fungi known as penicillin okay so these fungi which are used to produce antibiotics they are used to control diseases and hence they are very helpful to us humans and animals in the medicine field also uh, fungi are very very useful like if i talk about yeast so it produces a chemical which is known as ephtrine 
ओके एफिड्रीन एंड इट इज़ वेरी यूजफुल ओके फॉर ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ अस्थमा एंड नेजल ट्रबल टॉकिंग अबाउट आर्थरिटीज वी हैव अनादर फंगी विच इज नोन एज राइजोपस सिंथेसिस कोरिस्टोन ओके सो दैट अगेन हेल्प इन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ आर्थरिटीज ओके नेक्स्ट इंडस्ट्रीज सो वाइन इंडस्ट्रीज दे आर वेरी मच यूजिंग यीस्ट ओके द यीस्ट इज वेरी मच हेल्पफुल इन वाइन इंडस्ट्रीज सो इट इज यूज टू प्रोड्यूस डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एल्कोहलिक बेवरेजेस लाइक विस्की बियर ड्रम एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा एंड ऑल्सो इट इज यूज इन बेकिंग प्रोडक्ट सो वी यूज केक वी मेक ब्रेड्स ओके सो ऑल इन ऑल दीज थिंग्स यीस्ट इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके नेक्स्ट इज बायो कंट्रोल एजेंट सो वट हैपन्स मेनी अ टाइम क्रॉप्स एंड ट्रीज और प्लांट्स द इंसेक्ट्स और वेरियस यू नो ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे एफेक्ट दैम सो हियर फंगाई दे आर इन्वॉल्व इन एक्सप्लॉयटिंग इंसेक्ट्स एंड स्मॉल वॉम्स ओके सो इट इज बेसिकली यूज एज पेस्ट कंट्रोल ओके सो दीज पोर्स ऑफ फंगाई दे आर यूज एज स्प्रे ऑन क्रॉप्स टू प्रोटेक्ट दैम फ्रॉम वेरियस इंसेक्ट्स एंड वॉम्स and now not always fungi are useful sometimes they can cause diseases also like if i call, uh, talk about plants uh, fungi can cause black rust in them if i talk about animals fungi can cause ring worm in them so here fungi are very harmful and they can also spoil our food okay so it can um, you know spoil our food which leads to economic loss of stored food okay in big big uh, you know granaries their uh, fungi if they spoil it leads to great economic loss so this is the bread mold on which fungi is growing and it is completely spoiled okay now if i talk about fungi growing on bread mold okay it has pores this part is known as stolon okay this part is known as rhizoid then we have sporangium okay and here we have sporangiophore okay so these are some of the parts and these are the spores from which fungi you know they reproduce okay now the common bread mold plant which is also known as rhizopus fungus it reproduces by the method of spore formation so we just now saw the spores and they you know reproduce by using that thing and the tiny spores of the bread mold plant are always present in the air because they are small so small they can be easily carried away by air so they are always present talking about respiration of fungi so yeast they are eukaryotic single cell microorganism belonging to fungus kingdom and they can survive in absence of air okay so how does the respiration takes place they undergo an aerobic respiration okay so since they can you know even survive in absence of air so they can break down the glucose into alcohol carbon dioxide and energy which is done in absence of ex- oxygen and it is known as an aerobic respiration all right so here we have glucose which is broken down in absence of oxygen which leads to formation of carbon dioxide alcohol and energy okay and now did you know facts so baker's yeast it is the common name for the strains of yeast which is commonly used in bakery products like bre- breads cakes etc now let us see what we have learned so we learned about five kingdoms so the question says name the five kingdom of classification so it is kingdom monera kingdom protista kingdom fungi kingdom animalia and kingdom plantae next let's list the characteristics of fungi so they are eukaryotic non vascular they are unicellular or sometimes they can be filamentous also their nucleus is very small and they reproduce using their spores state any two uses of fungi so you fungi it is used in medicine field okay and they are also used in recycling okay they are used as food for example mushrooms and also as biological agents okay then how is fungi harmful to us so sometimes they are responsible for various diseases like black rust in plants and ringworm in animals and they can also you know destroy our food which leads to economic losses and what type of respiration take place in fungi it is an aerobic respiration all right so let's have an activity quickly to see what are the things that we are going what we have learned So what is the main method of reproduction in bread mold it is spore formation Next we have fungi respire through dash respiration so it is an aerobic and at the last dash store their food in the form of starch so we just now saw that fungi they store their food in the starch form 
all right so let's summarize what are the things that we have learned today we learned about plants okay we learned about why we needed classification and how we classified what is the importance of classification and we focused on kingdom fungi right so i hope that you might have understood every single thing it was very small very easy chapter and we will be studying about every kingdom one by one in our subsequent lessons okay so you just keep revising keep learning and you can book your free trial class on swiftlearn because there are very few slots left thank you let's meet in the next class